Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper, and TireRack.com. We first met the ID Buzz as a concept vehicle back at the 2017 Detroit Auto Show, and we have been patiently waiting for the official production model ever since. Well, we're in Huntington Beach, California to get a first look at the all new Volkswagen ID Buzz and see what the Buzz is all about. The two row ID Buzz has been in production since last year, but that version is not coming to the US. What we do get is this long wheelbase three row model. To put the size into context, you're looking at dimensions that are pretty close to the Volkswagen Atlas and the Atlas Cross Sport. The ID Buzz is built on VW's MEB platform, which is also shared with the smaller ID4 crossover and the upcoming ID7 sedan. The all electric ID family can be recognized by the illuminated light bar that spans across the grille and meets the also illuminated VW badge. The exterior of the ID Buzz is retro inspired in the best way. I mean, this really looks like a modern version of the classic VW Microbus. There are tons of bright and interesting color options, including a two-tone paint job. And I know that I've been comparing this to a Microbus, but the utility of the ID Buzz is really much more like a minivan. That's right. Power sliding doors allow for easy access into the third row. The second row has available captain's chairs for either six or seven passenger seating. Both the second and third rows can be folded flat, and the third row is even removable. For a completely flat load floor, you'll have to opt for the available flex board. Inside is very simple and modern. It's what we've come to expect from Volkswagen's ID models. And the ID Buzz has uh, quite a few little Easter eggs and quirks like the fun play and pause pedals, um, the cool retro inspired wood grain on the dash. And even this center console here is removable so you can have even more space in the front. Across the dash are two screens, the 5.3 inch ID cockpit and a 12.9 inch central display. And the list of standard comfort features in the ID Buzz is pretty impressive heated and ventilated 12-way power front seats, heated second row seats, heated windshield washer nozzles, and dedicated air vents for all three rows. But there's still some goodies that you can opt for, like the panoramic glass sunroof, a 14-speaker Harman Kardon audio system, or a heated windshield. And Volkswagen's IQ Drive driver assistance system will be standard. Two powertrain options are available at launch, a single rear-mounted motor or a dual motor setup for all-wheel drive. Both are paired with a 91 kilowatt hour battery. The rear wheel drive model sees 282 horsepower, while the additional motor with all-wheel drive increases that to 330 horsepower. The Buzz also has a multi-link rear suspension and a top speed that has been electronically limited to 99 miles per hour. We don't have full pricing details on the ID Buzz just yet, but we're expecting it to start somewhere around the mid 50s when it arrives in 2024. But we'll have more information on the ID Buzz coming soon, right here on Motor Week.